Take the Altair 5X out of the multi-unit charger. Green light indicates that the Altair 5X is fully charged. Red light shows that the Altair 5X is still charging. Briefly press the on-off button to switch the instrument on. The Altair 5X is now performing a self-test and acoustic and vibration alarms as well as LED signals will be tested. The instrument displays startup logo, software version, device serial number, company name, department and usernames. Then sampling system safety test is triggered. Block the pump system of the device within 30 seconds. When the device detects a pump flow block, it will display a pass message. The startup sequence resumes and the display shows Bluetooth information, combustible gas type and installed sensor indication, VOC gas type with detectable range and response factor for instruments with PID sensor, the alarm set points for the low alarm, for the high alarm, for the short term exposure limit, for the workplace exposure limit, the calibration values, the current date, the date of the last calibration, due time in days for calibration, and sensor warm up progress. When fresh air setup is displayed flashing, please perform it. To do so, press the arrow down button briefly. Important! Do not activate the fresh air setup unless you are certain you are in an environment with fresh uncontaminated air. Otherwise, inaccurate readings can occur. For instrument shutdown, press and hold the on-off button. The device displays progress bar which shows how much longer to hold the button. Release the button and the Altair 5X will shut down. Insert the switched on Altair 5X into the Galaxy GX2 automatic test station to perform the daily bump test. Normally, it will take approximately 40 seconds. When the bump test is successful, it will be shown on the Galaxy GX2 display. Take the Altair 5X out of the test station. The instrument's display shows a check mark for the next 24 hours after successful bump testing. The Altair 5X is ready to use. The Galaxy GX2 will inform you if the bump test and subsequent calibration are not successful. Take out the Altair 5X. The multi-gas detector is not ready to use and needs an inspection. If you should enter a hazardous area, the Altair 5X will activate acoustic, visual and vibrating alarms. In this case, leave the hazardous area immediately. When the Altair 5X goes into low battery warning, the battery life indicator flashes, alarm sounds and alarm LEDs flash. Display shows low battery. Leave the area immediately as the end of battery life is approaching. The Bluetooth communication must be enabled to operate with the mobile device and installed Altair Connect app. The instrument will automatically enter discovery mode for 5 minutes after the device startup sequence. To manually enter discovery mode, page down through the menu pages in normal operation mode 
using the arrow down button until the discovery mode page is displayed. Press the on off button to enter discovery mode. The blue LED will blink rapidly indicating that the device is in discovery mode. For connecting the Altair 5X to the Altair Connect app for the first time, start the app and press Search for Instruments on the device, then tap Pair button for Displayed Instrument. Both the instrument and device will display a matching, unique six-digit security code. Confirm the pairing request on the device and on the Altair 5X by pressing the arrow down button. The Altair 5X also has an integrated RFID chip for faster Bluetooth pairing. Align the mobile device directly over the MSA logo on the front of the instrument for automatic pairing. If you've successfully established a connection, the Altair Connect app displays the instrument readings and the blue LED on the instrument flashes slowly. Safety IO Grid Live Monitor subscribers will see the gas readings and location details of the connected user. To disconnect the instrument from the app, tap the three dots in the upper right corner of the device and tap Disconnect.